hello guys let's do one more exercise for today and um, we did this number 16 and it was all about the tuition and uh, we found out that when they after in 10 years four years tuition is going to be this one so you can just do your calculations and and also try to write a program if you get a different uh, answers you can just write a comment and give us the uh, the feedback okay guys okay now let's do the one more exercise for today which is um, I'm going to write exercise number 17 and this exercise is all about we are dealing with students still so um, it's just a program that you accept student name student score and and, and figure out the top student or the high score the student score the high score so um, so we are going to use scanner but the idea here we want to use the scanner to get value from the keyboard by using loop maybe ask you first time enter the student number one student number two up to the uh, size of the of the loop that they have specified so now let's get started so we start with public okay that's the main method and uh, let's put our scanner down is equal to new scan object system.in and control shift all you get your organize your inputs and then we sys out we ask the student to enter uh, enter the number of enter the number of student the program is asking us to add a number of students all right and this number of students is going to be the the size of our loop the for loop so I'm going to say or to write in num of students is equal to if you may guess what are we going to type here is you're using the scanner object input dot next int okay the number the answer you put here is going to be number of student and this is going to be the maximum then uh, the amount of loops is going to loop so I'm going to pass this to the loop now so um, again we need to ask someone or our program is going to ask us to enter the number of score or enter uh, maybe student name let's put the student name first uh, enter a student name okay and then when we have a student name we we have to use because this is going to be uh, it's going to be the name is going to be number it's going to be string so it's going to be a little bit more different from this this int because we are going to receive number here if you are receiving the name string so we have to type the string and the string is going to be st a string uh, students maybe student one let's say it's going to be it's going to input we're going to use this input here the object scanner object input dot next you can use next uh, next line or we can use next so we use next here we have next and then we need to ask again see sound is going to be print all this is going to be print we don't need have to print line so and here I'm going to ask the enter 
enter a student score All right and then we have student score and this score is going to be different data type so I'm going to use double because it might be point something right score one and then it's going to be equal to input dot input dot double so that's the query data type method and then here is where I have to loop for loop and I'm going to loop int i is equal to zero first and then i is going to be less than number of student as I said num of student see and then we have to minus one because the loop starts from zero you see then i plus plus because this starts from zero but you don't need zero that's why you have to to minus one okay and then inside our loop number of student minus one let's see k number of students yeah number of students minus one okay and then in within our loop we are going to see out sys out and this have to be a print line I have to be print and let's enter a student name it's going to we have to ask enter a student name okay and then you you should ask us every time according to the number of number of uh, if we put like 10 10 students so because the loop start from zero so we are going to minus one it's going to be 11 this one if you put 10 it's going to be 11 because it starts from zero to 10 so zero they are going to be 11 so you have to minus one so that you get 10 right that should be you should understand that so you're going to loop one you ask the name and ask you all these details and then go to another student like that then it we will uh, write a logic to evaluate or to check the highest score so the next thing I'm going to type here is that uh, I'm going to use the string string student and then what input dot next okay and then I want the score now. Sys out. We are dealing with one specific student, so that's why we have to enter again. Enter a score for this to uh, for a student. Student score, okay. And then. Here we use a score now, get the score which is double his or her score double input input dot double okay and then we check if score is greater than score one this one uh, which score again we added here uh, this one Let's score one so what do we want to do we want to check we want to do something like this we want to say okay student one equal to student okay and then score one 
equal to score okay and then we sys out sys out and I'm going to use string builder here I'm sorry new string builder to pass string top student dot append uh, let's see uh, score is I'm just putting this S here as a student score is dot append what append score one score one and uh, dots to string and then we save and control shift F and then let's try to run this program see enter number of students maybe I'm gonna type three students okay enter and enter the student name maybe uh, ICT and then any the student score maybe 100 or 90 98 another student because I types three students then have type another student which is ICT 100 score 32 and a student I C T um trainer score for the five so the top student is ninety eight so this is right the program is right is running correctly so guys it was just simple it depends if you type 100 it will ask you all the names of the students and their score and then later it will check for this and this is just the logic that I'm using here this one and that uh, we have been doing the scanner and why the scanner this scanner will never end it depends on what you want to type here if you want to type 1 million then you have to go through millions the students type in their names and their score and at the end of the day give you the the top score and if it happens to be two score at the same I think it will print two score you can do that as a practice and see how it works and remember again here I put minus one because uh, loops start from zero and we have if we type 10 then we have to minus one okay so so thank you guys for your time and